Some scary incidents in the air. Uh, two alarming incidents affecting air travel all across the U.S. this week. The uh, new cell phone video showing a passenger who tried to open an emergency exit while the plane was in flight. This is during a cross-country journey Sunday, and then he allegedly attacked a flight attendant. He was arrested after the plane landed at Boston's Logan Airport, and that airport is also where two planes bumped into each other on the tarmac yesterday. Hard to call it a fender bender when you're talking about planes. Lily Luciano has these stories. I'm taking over this plane. Well, cell phone video captured the frightening moments aboard a flight from Los Angeles to Boston Sunday. Officials say Francisco Torres threatened other passengers and crew members. He said he wanted to jump out of the plane and attempted to open a cabin door. They say he then tried to stab a flight attendant in the neck with a broken metal spoon before other passengers and crew took him down. Uh, that person was subdued and is being detained right now. However, not going quietly. He's just laying there with six able bodies on top of him. The flight attendant was not seriously injured. Torres is under arrest and could face life in prison. And yesterday, two United planes clipped their wings while on the tarmac at Boston Logan. Investigators say it happened when one United plane being towed made contact with another that was parked at the neighboring gate. No one was injured. Meanwhile, a close call from last month in Florida is now under investigation. The NTSB says an American Airlines 737 cleared for landing at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport was forced to initiate a go around when an Air Canada jet was cleared for takeoff on the same runway. Why does it feel like flying these days is less safe? I really want to emphasize that flying on a commercial airline in the United States is extremely safe. But the NTSB and the FAA are working hard to understand these events to keep them from happening. For CBS Mornings, I'm Lilia Luciano.